What's up, everybody? Welcome to Christian Emphasis. You know, just just for, forget the glasses, forget. It. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Christian Emphasis Week. Now, what is Christian Emphasis Week, you ask? Well, because we're a Christian school, we take one week to learn, reflect, and celebrate Christian teachings. Now, CEW is a week for everybody, even if you're not a Christian. The lessons that will be discussed can apply to anybody and has been created with everybody in our school in mind. This year, Chapel Council chose the theme, What Would Jesus Do? As it turns out, it's gonna look a lot different than what we originally planned. In fact, we changed the Bible passages to ones that can really help us through the pandemic. Stay safe, everybody. And remind us of things that we really need to hear right now. Today, Rev is going to talk to us about finding peace, even when things feel anything but peaceful. So we present to you CEW 2020, a year like no other. Over the next three days, we will look at three stories of Jesus, what he did in those stories, and how we should respond and how we live now and in the future. Every day in homeroom, there will be an activity and a flip grid grade level, flip grid grade level, man, that's a tongue twister, flip grid grade level activity that should be fun. Finally, there will be daily CEW challenges, which will be posted on Schoology every afternoon. Happy CEW Middle School! Woo! Here's Alexander to read today's scripture passage. Take it away, Alexander! Mark 4, 35, 41. Jesus calms the storm. That day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along. Just as he was in the boat, there were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Be quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and waves obey him. Have you ever been caught in a storm? I have. It came up on me and was totally unexpected. It came out of nowhere and really caught me off guard. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but the impact can be pretty hard. You know, the story of Jesus and the calming of the sea has a message for all of us. We can look at what Jesus did in that story and how we should respond to what he did. Jesus was sleeping in the back of the boat, stern of the boat. And the Gospel of Mark says that he was sleeping on a cushion, which I think is really funny because did they have cushions back then. Jesus time they had cushions maybe I'm the only one that thinks that's odd anyways why, why are they telling us that he's sleeping on a cushion I think they want us to know that Jesus was sleeping like a baby Jesus was completely calm Jesus was at peace Jesus was comfortable on that cushion perfectly calm the disciples on the other hand they're panicking so they wake him up 
get him to come out to the front of the boat and show him the storm. And he just shouts at those wind gusts. He says, be still. He calms the wind and the ocean and the storm completely. That's the word the gospel used. Completely calm. Then in a very human post-nap crankiness moment, Jesus says to the disciples, what were you thinking? Where was your trust? Where was your faith? You didn't believe that I would stop the storm, even though he was sleeping in the back of the boat. So what is the lesson for us in this? What is the message? What do we take from Jesus' actions and turn it into how we respond in life? Well, first of all, life is going to feel like a storm sometimes. Maybe it feels like that for you right now. One thing is for sure, at some point in your life, it will feel like you are in the midst of a storm. And the message for us is that there is calm and there is peace available to us even when the waves are crashing in. The peace is there, the complete calm, the cushion of peace. We might have to look for it. It might be hidden from us. It might be hidden like Jesus was hidden in the back of the boat. We might have to work to find it. Maybe that's the point of Jesus being in the back of the boat. The peace and the calm isn't always obvious. We have to work sometimes to find it. We might have to actually work hard to find it, to find our own cushions, if you will, the places, the people, the activities that make us feel calm. But it's there. And the good news is that God is there to lead us to find it. You know, I can remember one time I went skiing in Colorado with some friends and missed our flight and we couldn't get another flight. We ended up spending the night in the airport. By the time we got to the place where we were staying, this house, there I, we walked in the door and we were so exhausted. There was one of those big round chairs with those big thick cushions in them. And I just beelined it for that cushion. And I laid down in it and it just enveloped me. And I can remember even to this day, the calm and the comfort and the peace I found there. And I went to sleep for most of that day on that cushion in that chair. Find a cushion today, literally and figuratively. Find a place of calm and peace. And then don't keep that calm and peace to yourself. Extend it to others. Through your words and action, you can extend peace to others. Right now, we are limited in how we can show peace to others. But we are not limited in how much peace we can extend to others. Thanks for listening, Wildcats. Happy CEW Connect 650. Lots of love and peace to you, my friends. We hope that you have enjoyed this CEW message from Rev and feel inspired to find peace for yourself and offer it to others. Please join me in this prayer. Dear God, thank you for this story about peace that Jesus can bring. We pray for everyone who feels like they're in the middle of a storm and don't know where to turn to find calm. Help us to reach out with words of peace to our friends and family now and always. Thank you for this week and the chance to learn more about what Jesus did and what to respond to with how we act and speak. Amen. Have a great day.